Okay, hi guys, welcome back to Review Monkey. Today we're going to look at a Silverlit Air Lightning. Now this is a small, again indoor, remote control helicopter. It comes with the controller and the charger, everything you need to fly. Um, it reminds me very much of the Pico Z, which was out some years back. But we'll, um, we'll open it up now, we'll unbox it and we'll see um, See what it's like. Let's see what comes in the box. See what comes in it. Okay. So first of all, we have the instructions with uh, what looks to be some spare parts and some kind of tool. So a couple of spare tower rotors. A, a, a silver sticker type thing and a small tool. I'm sure we'll find out what they are as we go. Um, got the instruction book and here is the gadget itself. Uh, okay, I'm going to need to... Well, first of all, we'll start with the remote control. So, that doesn't stay in position, which worries me a little bit. We'll see what it's like when we fly. Um, I'm liking there's a bit of um, left and right trim there. It's nice to have a bit of you know option to trim it and make it um, fly better. Obviously no trim needed for the the throttle. So if memory serves, because I've flown a, a Pico Z before, although it was many years ago, the throttle literally does forward and the speed of forward and you just turn it left and right. So um, quite good control as I remember, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like shortly. Okay, so very nice and light, very small. Um, feels good. We'll have to charge it and then um, give it a little fly, see how she flies. So, um, I did notice as well when I was looking at the control, there was this little like tab on the side and it pulls out the presumably the charge lead. Um, as you can see it slots in slots in there like that. Quite a nice little feature I suppose. But it's got a nice feel to it, so we'll um, we'll charge it up, we'll give it a, a test flight, and hopefully we'll get um, some footage for you so you can see the kind of flight characteristics and how well this um, little thing performs. So if we're going to charge it up, there's a very small um, plug point there. So you turn the power off and on the remote control at the side here, we have a lead and just take this tiny lead and plug it. It only goes in there one way. Make sure, make sure everything's switched off. So make sure it's off, and then you just turn the controller on, and you'll see there's a green light on the helicopter there. Hopefully, you can see that. When the green light goes out, charging is complete. So we'll give it a while to charge, and then we'll see how she um, flies and how we trim it after that. Okay, so we'll start by turning on the controller and then we'll turn on the helicopter. Probably need to trim this a little bit, give you an idea what this one flies like. I get a chance to just quickly. practice, get some rhythm going and it should begin to fly around the room in an orderly fashion hopefully, like this is it. I want to do just some um, clockwise circuit because because of the rotor torque, clockwise circuit seems to be the easiest, easiest way to fly these. And again once you get a bit of trim on it, once you get into a bit of a rhythm Bring it a bit. Once you get into a bit of a rhythm with it, it does fly quite nicely, as you can see there. 
and it'll fly around like this all day. Occasionally just adjusting the throttle so it doesn't hit the light fitting. Now we're flying in a very small room here. Um, obviously on a calm day, very calm day, you've got more scope outside. If you've got a bigger room than this, you've got more scope. But it's quite a nice thing to fly to be fair. It um, has its little moment. Once you get it into the rhythm and start it kind of lurching forward and just controlling that tail. And I can let go of the sticks and it will more or less circle around on its own quite nicely. Um, obviously I can trim that tail so it doesn't do that. But the nice thing is I can let go and show you how it flies on its own. So yeah, nice little thing. Um, good introductory helicopter. Um, takes a little bit of getting used to. But once you've got the rhythm with it, as you can see, it will just fly around nicely all day. You put throttle on and it seems to climb and go forward a little bit. Throttle off and it will slow down and it will go, begin to descend. And then just a bit of tail rudder, constant adjusting the tail as you can see. Just making some nice little circuits around the room. So what I should be able to do is land it, hopefully land it in my hand. Do you know what? As an introductory helicopter, for a bit of fun, you can't go far wrong with that, can you? What a great little toy that is. Very impressed. Um, durability, again, five out of five, very strong and sturdy. Comes with spare tail rotors. Control method is nice and easy. All in all, all in all, you'd, you'd have to give it five out of five, wouldn't you? It's a cracking little helicopter, that. Nice little, um, nice little toy to play about with in the room. Not too challenging. Keeps your hand in with your flying skills. Very, very stable. Not too noisy. And a lot of fun. You know, you can do pirouettes. Turn it in either direction. You can hover it in front of yourself. And you can land it in your hand. So what more can you ask for? <laughs>